Front row MMA here at Cage Warrior 60 with Arnold Allen. And, you know, I'm going to take this interview very seriously. It seems like someone has stolen your pants, your trousers, pants being the North American for trousers. We got really excited and uh, my clothes just fell off and it was ecstatic. I, I got to tell you, this is the first time people have been so excited that clothes have fallen off when we've interviewed them, but we appreciate it. Still undefeated. How does that feel? Ah, it's great. It's, uh, it's great to keep the, uh, the zero where it is. Hopefully it's not going anywhere. Oh. So. <laughs> was that the type of fight you expected? Was the you know he he's it, he you know he was a tough guy and yeah, yeah. He was uh, you wanted? I wanted to stand more, but uh, you know I could see he was loading up his big shots, so I just thought play it safe and uh, get another win. You know? I knew I, I knew I was better than him on the ground, so I just thought I'd take it and play it safe. You know, you, know, you say you, you played it safe, but you know, you're fighting in a cage, there's nothing safe about that. That triangle, you know, you worked for that. Yeah. When, you, when you finally got the sort of the legs over the shoulder and you, you, you locked it up, did you know that there was no yeah. getting out? I, I knew it was on. The only thing, I thought, I thought it was going to go out because he, uh, he was tight, you know, he, he weren't tapping straight away, it was tight, it was real tight. I could hear him, hear him go, <laughs> and, uh, I thought he was going to go out, but... I'm sorry, can yeah. you do that face again? That was brilliant. Uh, wow, brilliant. You, you know, we, we've watched you fight a few times, and you seem, you, you, you're one of those fighters that we watch evolve. You're getting better and better every time. Where do you see the next step in your evolution as a fighter? What, what, how, where do you get better next? 6-0. <laughs> <laughs> with, with a knockout this time. I don't want to be a submission artist. I want to knock people out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing, given the choice, you're always going to take the KO as opposed to the sub. KO all day. That's the way. <laughs> People love KOs and blood. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know, you, you look fresh as a daisy. You know, it, how, how quick do you want to get back into the Cage Warriors cage? See, I've got a, a little hand injury, but yeah, it'll, it'll be sparring tomorrow morning, so it'll be fine. We certainly know they're doing an event in Jordan in three weeks. That's probably too soon, but we also know they're up in Newcastle on the 7th, and then you've got Dublin on the 31st. Uh, you know, if they come knocking either of those events, is that up? Is that good for you? I'll do what I'm told. No. <laughs> 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 oh, I could have. I so could have, but I'm not going to because you, you'll kick my ass. Um, look, it was a fantastic performance. We enjoy watching you fight Thanks every so. time you get better. You make us sick because you're a bit young, but hey, so be it. But you promised me a certain exit after this interview. There's something you have to do with this quiff as you leave. Before we let you leave, though, is there anything you, anybody you'd like to give a shout out to, any sponsors you'd like to thank? I'd just like to thank my mum and dad for their support, and that is it. And that is it. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God this interview's over, I think, is what he's saying there. A pleasure to watch you work. Thanks, Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>